In this video, I'm going to show you how you can cut right through the shackle on a padlock in the event you do not have a very large bolt cutter to cut through the shackle or a source of power to use an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel to cut through the shackle. Now, as most of us know, the shackle is made out of hardened steel. It's extremely, extremely hard due to a heat treatment process as well as the alloy that's used in that shackle. If you go to take a hacksaw blade and you try cutting it, as you can see, it just runs around all over the surface and you can't get a good bite in order to start cutting into that shackle. Now knowing that heat was used to treat this shackle to make it as hard as it is, we can also use heat to our advantage. In this case, a propane torch. A map gas torch is even better. You're going to heat the shackle. Now normally this would be connected up at the top, so you'd have to hold it at an angle with vice grips, and you would heat the shackle right over there until it glows red hot. Once that shackle is glowing red hot, you're going to allow it to cool off. When it cools, you change the structure of the metal to the point where it's now very easy to cut using an 18 teeth per inch hacksaw blade. Let me demonstrate for you right now. A pair of vice grips makes it very easy to hold the lock by the body. So if this is on something, clearly you're not going to be heating it at that end. So you'd hold it with the vice grips nice and tight, heat it right here. Once it's done heating, you allow it to cool off, just let it hang free again. And then you could grab it later with the vice grips and then start cutting. I'll be heating up the shackle on the right side. Now when you're using the torch, near the end you want to have the cone, the tip of the cone, touching the lock right about there, and that's going to give you the maximum amount of heat to get that as hot as possible. Pull the flame back to there. See the color changing? Pull back a little bit more, and then you'll see it start to glow soon. Right about there should be perfect. It will be hard to see it glowing because I am in brighter light, but you still should see it glowing. So let's see. Yeah, it's starting to glow right now. Yep, glowing more. Now you can see it. You want to keep going until it gets as bright as you can get it. The 
looking very good. Okay, that's all you had to do, now just let it cool off. Okay, the shackle has slowly cooled down. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlists as well. Thank you very much for watching.